So, today I finally saw a smile that I have not seen on you this whole time. So I know you can have fun, mm -hmm. but I don't know much about Zach. Okay. And I want to know more about you. So, Zach mm -hmm. grew up in an amazing home, amazing mm -hmm. family. I love my family. I graduated college and I wasn't feeling well. So I was like, I gotta get this checked out. I was like all busy and so I went to this like x-ray place and I found out that day that I had a brain tumor. So the next morning I'm like in surgery. Oh my God. Crazy life altering experience. Yeah. Did that scare, like, I feel like that would like completely make my heart stop and I, would, I don't even know what I would do. You know, what I can tell you about that experience is it was very strange because as a result of the surgery, it was introduced to like pain medication and mm -hmm. drugs. So it was like this perfect storm of like, here Zach is at 23 years old, this thing happens and like, what do, what do I do next? Right. That's when I decided like, oh yeah, I'll get married. You know, like, just like. He's like the next step. Yeah. And she did nothing wrong. Right. It's important to say. But at that point, like, I'm like drinking and doing drugs and just like, just partying, like, just totally being uh, selfish. Yeah. I was hanging out with some sketchy people. Like, just, it wasn't pretty. I got arrested, got a DUI, and my wife left me. She's like, this is over. And then for the next, kind of like eight months, it got pretty gnarly. I was in a bad way, scary. Really dark place. Yeah, it was like touch and go. Like moments of like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to tomorrow kind of mm -hmm. stuff, because I was just like. That deep. Was, I was, yeah, I was like hopeless. I had stolen one of my dad's checks. So I was gonna like cast a check and like go do whatever. And like, it's very heavy to talk about this moment for me. The bank teller calls my dad. Mm -hmm. She's like my angel. And basically says like, your son's here. It's not good. And you need to get down here. Like, so my dad showed up and he kind of like, like grabbed my arm. He's like, son, we're going home. You know, and like in that moment, I had some type of, I don't know, spiritual, crazy moment of clarity. I was like, oh, okay, like it's time. And uh, I ended up in rehab for four and a half months. Now, however many years later, on the board of that rehab. That's so cool. Yeah, so it's my baby. <laughs> did you find it hard, like, um, like with your family? Like, did you have to do a lot of work to prove yourself in order for them to like trust you again? I think everyone kind of had this, like, because I had been to rehab once before, and it's yeah. like, you know, kind of like, show me. You know, like, enough of the talking, let's actually say it. Yeah. They wanted me to get well, but they knew right. that they couldn't do anything. Right. right. They had already tried. You had a wild ride. The best ride. But for some, like, a few years, like, that was, that's a lot. Yeah, just the fact that I'm sitting here is kind of. Is, is a miracle. Yeah. Thank you for opening up with me. That was a lot. Thank you. No, it's not, because. I like knew that there was more to you uh -huh. because I just I just sensed it from like the moment I met you. I feel like you're so mature and like there's just life that you've lived and I I wanted to get to know that. So thank you. You're welcome.